Welcome back to Anderson Acres. We are inside today because it's freakishly cold today, but that's what happens and it's January in Canada. So because it's so cold and I don't feel like filming outside, I thought we would talk about another breed of chicken today. Today I'd like to talk about the Frisian chicken. This is a breed from the Netherlands and it's actually a pretty rare breed. It has conservation status because it is certainly not common. It is unlikely that you'll run into these unless you know a breeder or someone into the conservation of rare breeds. They're just not around very much. Though if you do encounter them and you can get your hands on a breeding pair, they are beautiful birds. These guys have existed for at least a thousand years. At least that's common, the common thought right now. And they were mostly untouched. They were just kind of hanging out in the Netherlands doing their chicken thing. They were relatively unknown until pretty recently, actually. Just the last couple of decades. Like I said, they are really rare in most areas, including the Netherlands. Even in the Netherlands, they're not super common, though they are a little more common in the Netherlands than they are anywhere else, just because that's where the breed came from. They do need dedicated keepers who are interested in the conservation of this breed, mostly because they really are that endangered. There are not a ton of Frisian chickens left in the world, which is a shame because they're quite beautiful and they're kind of sweet. Now these are a smaller breed. They do have a Bantam variant, uh, so a Frisian chicken that's a little bit smaller than the regular, but even the standard Frisian isn't very big. So they're not a large bird. They're not really a meaty bird. They were originally for laying eggs, so they don't have a lot of meat on them. They're not a great meat bird. They're not honestly even that great at laying eggs because they don't lay as many as most of the layer breeds, which is probably why this breed kind of fell out of favor and was mostly replaced with other breeds that better met the needs of chicken keepers in the area. Now, they are great at foraging and really good at free ranging. And this is just something that's kind of been bred into them, mostly because they were required to find most of their own food to survive when they were developing in the Netherlands. They weren't a kind of bird that was kept in a coop or locked up or anything like that. They mostly free ranged. And because they mostly free ranged, that has kind of become their thing. They were just bred to forage. So they're really good at finding their own food as long as there is food available. So they are easy keepers. They coop well, so which means they come back at night. So they're easy to have if you want a free ranging bird that is not very big. But remember, their smaller size does mean they're a little bit more susceptible to predators just because they're kind of small. So, like I said, mostly for eggs, these guys, they're mostly layers. They don't lay great. Um, today, they're mostly bred for exhibition and conservation. Uh, that's because even though they were originally layers, they don't lay well. They lay... Not horribly, so 150 to 180 eggs per hen per year. Uh, they're more likely to lay it closer to that 150 line than that 180. So they are on the lower end of layers for laying breeds. They don't lay as well. But they are gorgeous birds, and they're sweethearts. They're small, and they're easy to handle, they're not super aggressive. They can be a little bit flighty, like a lot of layer breeds, but they're not terrible. So they do tend to be small, sweet, and funny to watch. Now, they do come in three primary colors, a gold penciled, a silver penciled, and a chamois penciled. Um, there, there are other variants. There are lemons. There are, there are other variants, but those three colors are are the three primary colors. You will mostly find the gold penciled. That's the most common color. Silver coming in a distant second. Most of the time when you find Frisian chickens are going to be the gold penciled version. Regardless of the color, they have these dark orange eyes and these white earlobes that really make them stand out. And they have great personalities. So if you do have the opportunity to get one of these guys or hopefully a breeding pair, you should definitely do it because they're easy to care for, a lot of fun, and they definitely need people who are willing to 
hatch those eggs and increase the number of Frisian chickens in the world because they are not as common as they should be for such a delightful bird. That's about it for us here today at Anderson Acres. We'll see you tomorrow.